right peeps so we're back after a few days then we've had some heavy rain in the meantime now I've cut out some plastic corrugated squares which are the same size as the slabs which I intend to put down and it's just one of those things whereby it's easier to maneuver a bit of cardboard than what it is to maneuver some concrete slabs so I've cut them to size then a 600 millimeter square 60 centimeters Now what I'm going to do then, I'm going to just use them as a template just to set the um, set them out just to try and get an idea as to the best way to set out the slabs. Right folks, so I think we're going to go for something like this then, so we can see that we have two rows of six slabs. All I need to do is just um, do a little bit of maths and uh, just work out the spacing between the slabs. Right folks, I'm just setting up a string line here just to give me the longest measurement. It's going to be the easiest way to do it. So we're looking for four inches or 100 millimetres along this timber border here. And once I've got that measurement in, then it will be a good visual aid to enable me to get these slabs nice and square. And the shorter section, I'm just going to mark that as I go along. So basically all I've done, just stick a screwdriver in the sand and just tie a bit of string around it. And I'm just going to use the tip of the screwdriver just to mark out the measurements where I need to lay the slabs. So I'm just using some off cuts of some feather edge board here look just to protect the slabs. So I've got these slabs from another property then they've had a good old clean using the Titan pressure washer which has done a fantastic job. I've also bleached these. Now to buy these brand new you'd be paying around about nine to ten pounds for these. So I'm just upcycling these and basically they're not costing me anything. Um, I also have some slightly smaller ones, so these are 600 millimetres square or 60 centimetres and I've also got half a dozen ones which are exactly the same but slightly smaller, so they're 450 millimetres square, so I'm just going to drop those down the right hand side. And I also have about half a dozen even smaller um, slabs, they're 400 millimetre square and I'm going to drop those down the left hand side. So it's coming together now look isn't it you know we've got these slabs set out 
So we've got the correct distances, you know, the spacing. All we've got to do basically is just to set these in position to get them nice and flat and to try and get a nice little camber or gradient from front to back, just to shed water. Right folks, I'll run another day now and the first thing I'm going to do is to centralise these two slabs in front of me so they're the ones in front of the door, you know, make sure they're um, central to the door and then space out the other slabs accordingly and then I'm going to bed them in better to make them flatter and to make them sit properly. Right folks, so the slabs are pretty central now then, so I'm going to start bedding them in. I'm going to start from these two here and then use these and work out the rest of the slabs. So what happens here will determine what happens to the left and to the right, okay. So in terms of setting these slabs down and getting them nice and level, um, I've, I've only done a short amount of video footage on this and it'll be the first two slabs we're looking at here because obviously once you've done one, the process is exactly the same for the rest of them and to keep the video as concise as possible without making it unduly long. You know, I haven't videoed everything. Okay, so hopefully this will give you a good gist of what it is that you need to do in order to set these in the sand and to get them nice and flat and level and get a gradient if you need one. Okay so we're on the slate now and I'm just basically washing off the slate from another property which I'm upcycling. So I've got five bags of this stuff. I'm not exactly sure how far it's going to go but um, you know it's still five bags of slate which I'm not going to have to pay for. So the effort was basically just digging this stuff up and bagging it and just getting it back to the house really but other than that it's pretty straightforward. However it didn't get me as far as I was hoping it would and I did actually end up having to buy an extra 
um, 15 bags of slate and I ended up getting it from the range. Um, the bags were, you got three bags basically for 12 quid. So four pound a bag is well under half price. You can you know, buy the stuff anywhere else. It's about nine or 10 pound a bag from places like Wix and B&Q. So basically I've got five bags for nothing. You can see, you know, the stuff's in good nick. It's just a case of having to sort of like wash the stuff before you use it. Which brings me on to another point. The 15 bags which I had to purchase in order to finish off this project. Now, it's when you look at the instructions, it tells you specifically that you have to wash these. And when you actually open up the bags, it becomes clear why. Because these slate chippings, they're actually covered in a... Um, it's a sort of a, a bit of a, a dirty greasy film and you do need to wash them off if i was just for example just to tip them out next to these slates when it got wet then it would actually discolor and stain these concrete slabs okay so yeah i know it's an extra step but you do need to do it so these slate chippings then they're actually a plum color and you'd be surprised at how many shades of plum there are so the ones which um, I upcycle from another property, they're slightly lighter than the additional ones which I purchased from the range. But, you know, um, I did have some left over from the new purchase and I just sprinkled them on top. So, you know, they mix together quite nicely. And incidentally, while I'm thinking about it, I did actually also have to buy a little bit more sharp sand. I ended up buying an extra four bags of sharp sand from Wix. It cost £2.50 a bag, so you know it's not tremendously expensive. And I just needed it to build up slightly the area on the right hand side of the main cave before I put the smaller slabs down and put the um, you know the rest of the chippings on. Right folks, so this is how far those five bags of slate got me. And obviously they're not a blue grey slate, are they? They're a, um, a plum colour. So I need probably about the same amount again, I should think actually, just to sort of finish off basically. Um, and then what I'll do, I'll tamp them all down and just fill in any low spots and uh, we should be good to go. And I think it will be a nice job when it's finished. But for now then, I'm going to knock off for the day and um, put in an order for some more slate and then we'll finish off in the next couple of days. <laughs> 